It's fall and fall means pumpkins. Come with us as we go to a farm to pick some pumpkins. I'm Brandy and today we're gonna to visit Miller Farms in Northern Colorado. We're gonna see where pumpkins grow, what they need, and what other fun things you could do at the farm. Let's take a virtual field trip. Where have you gotten your pumpkins in the past? Have you grown pumpkins in your garden? Have you ever gone and picked one out where it grew? Have you gotten your pumpkins from the grocery store? If you've gotten them from the store, do you know where they live before they arrive at the store? We're gonna go look and see. Some people grow pumpkins in their backyards and that is a great way to get pumpkins. You can watch them as they grow and see what all the parts of the life cycle look like. But what about people who don't grow their pumpkins at home? Where do their pumpkins come from? Farmers grow pumpkins in these large fields. Sometimes they grow pumpkins all by themselves in fields and sometimes they grow them alongside other vegetables like tomatoes, onions, peppers, and corn. We take a hayride cart pulled by a tractor from the farmhouse to the field on a beautiful sunny day. When we reach the pumpkin fields, we search around to find the pumpkins we want. These pumpkins are all tiny, about the size of a softball. Pumpkins come in all different colors, sizes, and shapes. Let's talk about the different parts of a pumpkin. Here's the outside of the pumpkin, also known as the skin. We're looking for pumpkins with orange skin. Did you know that pumpkins start out green and then turn orange as they ripen? Here's the stem of the pumpkin and pumpkin plants have all kinds of leaves. In fact, we had to move leaves aside so we could find these little baby pumpkins. The leaves grow out of the pumpkin vines. The vines look like this and they grow super long, letting pumpkins take over the whole field. When we cut the pumpkin open, we see the fibrous strands or stringy bits inside and tucked into the fibrous strands are the seeds. The seeds are what we need to grow new pumpkins. The round fruit that we think of as pumpkins start out as flowers called blossoms. As time passes, the pumpkins themselves grow out of the blossoms. They get bigger and bigger as the season goes on, then they ripen and turn orange. If they become ripe and they lay in the dirt too long, they can start to break down or decompose. As they break down, their seeds will eventually end up in the soil. They'll sprout and form new pumpkin plants. The cycle goes seed, sprout, flower, pumpkin, seed. It's a circle. There were a few decomposing pumpkins in the fields while we're looking. We are not bringing those home. As the pumpkins are growing, they need a few things. They need soil to be planted in to hold the roots and to provide food and minerals. They need water. This farm's in a super dry environment, so they have to irrigate their fields, which means they pump water into their fields. See the pump and the big pipes they use to move the water? If they didn't have these pipes, all their crops, which is another word for plants, would dry up and die. These plants also need plenty of sunshine. Sunshine is how plants get the energy to grow and develop. Have you ever tried to grow a plant in a dark room? It doesn't work, right? Because without sunshine, plants can't do photosynthesis, which is a fancy word for using sunshine to create energy. And finally, the pumpkins need air. Just like us, plants breathe. But instead of breathing oxygen like we do, they breathe carbon dioxide, which is so, so handy because we breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. But plants do the opposite. They breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. We all work together to provide air for each other. Isn't that cool? Now that we've chosen our pumpkins from the field, we're gonna go back to the farmhouse. We'll do some of the fun stuff that the farm has put out for us. Then we'll choose some different types of pumpkins that the farmers have already harvested. That's a fancy word for picked for us to take home. Let's start in the corn maze. Have you ever seen a cornfield? Look at how tall these corn plants are. We're walking through the paths that have been cut in the field, trying to find our way back to the entrance. Because the corn is so tall, we can't see over it to know how to get out. We just have to make our best guess at each fork or turn. If the corn maze was too much for us, we could do the hay maze instead. This one still has twists and turns, but the hay bales are much shorter than corn, so we can see over these ones. We'll also look at all the super cool vehicles that the farm has out. There are all kinds of tractors, some planes, a few fire engines, and even some lifeboats. They are so fun to look at and explore. Finally, we're gonna play in an old school favorite, a big old pile of dirt. 
We can climb it, dig in it, even slide to the bottom. When we're finished doing all the fun stuff, it's time to load up our wagon with pumpkins. This pumpkin patch sells pumpkins by the wagon load. You pay for the wagon and see how many pumpkins you can fit in it. We started off with great big pumpkins and filled in the space to make a base. Then we put some funky shaped pumpkins, some that are different colors, and topped it with some smaller pumpkins and squash. How do you think our final wagon looked? Thanks for coming along on our pumpkin patch adventure. We take different field trips every month. So make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to come along on next month's trip. Happy fall. I hope you get some great pumpkins.